Welcome back to Andy the Lab. We are inside the 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLS 63. This is by far the best three-row luxury SUV that we have lab tested thus far. And today we're gonna show you why. No, we are not going after those rabbits. We're gonna do the beach scene now, okay? So uh, let's go do that. And there are so many features in here that just make it fun and convenient to drive and frankly, just put a smile on your face. For starters, the buttons on the door, pretty much everything seat related right here on the door makes complete sense, so intuitive. The buttons for the climate right here, or as you can see, tap second and third row. You're not hunting around searching for ways to cool it down back there, it is so clear between the metal weave on the trim, the Alcantara on the steering wheel, the AMG logos, two-tone leather on the seat with the beautiful pattern, even if it's not your color of choice, it just feels so much more special in this AMG. Every seat in this GLS is comfortable, even the third row, because, well, it's a real seat. But your kids might fight dibs on that second row, so be prepared because this has something very special back there. The executive rear seat package. It's not fair. No, I got it. Ugh. I got it. <gasps> Tablet! Whoa. Heated? Ventilated? At the same time? Wow. <gasps> Let me see that. I can control the radio and the temperature? Massage seat? Oh. And a wireless charger. And depending on how late you stayed up finishing that last minute science fair project, making cupcakes for the bake sale, well, you just might find yourself coming in here <sighs> to relax. Because this also has ventilated seats, heated, rapid heating, center console, armor.
MBUX, my favorite system we have tested so far in a luxury vehicle. And with this augmented reality navigation, look at those prompts. Now turn right. I honestly think it takes away any fear or concern of getting lost. Mercedes revealed that the second generation MBUX infotainment system is supposed to come out in 2021 in the luxury S-Class sedans. Now it's gonna have less hard buttons, improved AR, 3D stuff going on. Apparently you're not gonna have to say, hey Mercedes, but the exciting thing, help it's, me, I help you. cancel. It's going to be available in 27 languages, which I think will be key for the US market. But if you're like me and also like to have a ways up when you're driving, you can do that too. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Plus a wireless charger here. Now, this also has so much ambient lighting. Tons of it everywhere. No shortage of colors either. 64 options. There's something so soothing about it. It makes me actually feel more relaxed, especially if you're afraid of the dark. It's also around the speakers, which by the way, this has the upgraded audio system. 4,550 bucks. Speakers are everywhere and they're beautiful. The visibility at night is also fantastic and you can clearly see the camera in low light nighttime scenarios. And the space throughout is so convenient. And while I would prefer captain's chairs, a 40-20-40 split serves the same purpose when it comes to visibility for your dog. Andy can see straight to the front. So much headspace back here. Leg room in this second row looks like this. I do wish the floor was flat, however. And the third row is as comfortable as the second row seat, except you don't have a massage and heated and ventilation, but really nice seat. Now the leg room is definitely a little bit tight. So if you push that up, you're gonna be more comfortable back here. And uh, I can't help but notice one, two, three, four, four ceiling vents, two on the sides, two in the center. What does that make? Eight vents, and that doesn't even include the stuff piping out of the floors. Ventilation glory, super happy. And everything moves via buttons. There is no guessing which lever does what in here. The all button is especially handy if you wanna raise or drop everything at once. But it would be nice to have the controls by the driver like we saw in the BMW X7. And this happens to have the night package. So you're gonna get some high gloss black trim on this baby, which also makes it look really mean. I like it. I actually like the grill, you know why? It's easy to clean. It's nice and big and open, so when you get all the dead bugs and flies, you're not gonna have to be like using Q-tips to clean it. The size of this emblem is bigger than my head, and I cannot get over the size of these wheels. 23 inch, and the width of the tires? You moms and dads, you are definitely going to be the envy at school pickup. And I gotta point this out, a carbon fiber engine cover. If you can afford this, is an extra 1500 bucks really gonna set you back? Probably not. You might be the only one that appreciates it, but you're definitely gonna smile knowing that it's there when you're driving around. And can we just appreciate the fact that this has soft closed doors? It's fabulous! I can't tell you the amount of times I close a door and they don't close, so you never have to worry about that in here. Now, when it comes to actually driving this, there are so many safety features. I mean, you have everything you want and more, and they are so easy to access right here in your settings. Boom! Camera stuff, traffic, lane keep assist, and you can modify everything to sensitive, more or less. And if you don't feel like reading, you got your quick access icons right there. And if you tap that button, the vehicle is automatically prepared for a car wash. And this thing also feels so solid. I think you become a more confident driver driving this thing. And also the wind assist, it makes it feel that much more smooth and stable. You're not getting knocked around from side to side when you're on the highway, which is also a big perk for dogs. <laughs> the only problem, it's so smooth that you're driving way over the speed limit and don't even realize it. 
You got all different modes, even varying terrains like sand, trail, slippery. You got individual comfort, sport, and sport plus. Immense power for a huge vehicle. It is especially exciting when you flip it into Sport Plus. 603 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque. I was not expecting to feel that kind of power. And there's also something called magic control. So when you go to wash your windshield, the fluid is evenly distributed across the wipers. That's cool. It's not like... <laughs> it's more like... Look at that. It's like I just went to the car wash. And a huge plus of a luxury vehicle, the interior noise, it's so quiet. This has the acoustic comfort package. Increased cabin insulation, windshield and windows with acoustic and infrared absorbing film, which is great for dogs too. Even when the sunshade is open, it's quiet in here. And yeah, that's one nice sunroof. You might not have your own personal one in the third row, but you still benefit from that light. I'm not blind to the price. I know this is expensive, but when it comes to this segment, you definitely pay to play. Now we've lab tested a bunch of the competition. And I gotta say, when it comes to dogs, this GLS comes out on top. Let's tell you why. For starters, third row ventilation works when the third row is fully flat. Not the case in the BMW X7. Rear climate can be accessed in no time from up front, and that is key when you have a dog. This has a traditional rear, much easier for loading a fur kid. It's always a little bit harder for Andy to get in and out with a clamshell design like we see in the Range Rover or the Lexus LX570. So she much prefers a traditional rear. On a side note though, that air suspension, love the button in the rear, makes it that much easier to drop this thing and safer for your fur kid to jump in and out. The seats in the third row fold down flat and leave a nice wide open area. The seats in the Lexus LX570 folded like that eating up a lot of that side space. And comfort mode is actually comfortable. Andy is so relaxed in here. And personally, I like the way this drives over the competition. And I'm not struggling to find where things are. It's intuitive, which means I can stay focused on the road, keeping my precious cargo nice and safe. Big thanks to Mercedes for letting us lab test this AMG GLS 63. Oh, Andy, is this lab approved? Oh, didn't even have to ask the question. Totally lab approved. Thanks so much for subscribing. Click the bell so you know when our next video goes live and follow Andy on Instagram to see pics of this all week. We'll see you next time. Bye.